Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to test for voltage. We begin by first determining if we are testing AC voltage or DC voltage. AC voltage is what is used in virtually all residential and commercial applications. DC voltage is what cars, batteries, and many electronic devices rely on. In this example, we will be testing AC voltage. We set our testers to AC voltage, which can vary depending on the tester you have. Here are two examples of testers set on AC. And these are the settings for DC voltage. OK, I will reset the tester to volts AC. One more thing to keep in mind is always use the highest setting on the tester. I put the red lead on the positive side and the black lead on the common side. It looks like in this example we have 126 volts. This concludes our tutorial, but please stay tuned while I introduce the super cool slide rule. It is the most useful tool in the HVAC industry. It's guaranteed to save you money by giving you all the data you need when you need it, and it's going to prevent a lot of callbacks. Thanks for watching. Hello, I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheater subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas, it has capacitors, rules, and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for ductwork, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The SuperCool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.